Good afternoon, folks. Kevin Pace here with Via Wave Incorporated. I'd like to give you a quick demonstration on a web application that I wrote for the oil field. It's a risk journey management system. This software will analyze road conditions prior to a trip and evaluate given a score and will notify a manager prior to your journey. So let's me log in and explain how this works. So upon entering the system, the first thing it does is pulls the road conditions and as well as your location. As you can see, it auto detected that I'm in Medicine Hat. It's currently sunny and 35 degrees. Before I plan a trip, I would like to show you the settings and locations. Let's take a look at locations. Uh, you can save and load locations into this system. For instance, I am aware of Lethbridge. You can see the latitude, longitude as well as a map with Lethbridge on it, Fort McMurray, Lac La Biche, Lloydminster, et cetera. We also have the option to add a location. And if you're not too sure on the Latin long, you can click on the load map button and a map will appear. Let's say we want to add Grand Prairie to the list. Let's just click anywhere on the map and you'll see that the coordinates are loaded We'll give this a name. And we'll just give it a quick description for our own use. There we go. That has been successfully saved into our system. So we want to drive to Grand Prairie today. So let's start from Medicine Hat, which it's auto detected. And our final destination is going to be Grand Prairie, Alberta. We'll click on continue. And what the system is currently doing is fetching all of the road conditions and road reports and presenting the information to us. As we can see here, Highway 1 is now open from the BC border to all traffic. Uh, as you all know, it was closed during flooding and there's a list of different highways that were affected. We can also view the map of our trip prior to going. You can see I'm driving from Medicine Hat to Grand Prairie, Alberta. I can view the step-by-step -step instructions and uh, thanks to a feed from Alberta 511, I can actually read the conditions of the highways prior to travel. As we can see, it's mostly dry. Yep, looks like uh, no rain. Looks like this will be a nice safe trip all the way up here. Let's check for hazards as well. There's one hazard on Highway 1. Some flooding and some washout I need to be aware of. Highway 2 has a few different things that I would need to read through and Highway 43. As you'll notice, it only grabs the highway information pertinent to the highways that I'm traveling on. And also there are a few questions that help analyze the score. So let's see, is this the first time driving? Sure it is. Is this trip essential? Yeah, we'll make it essential. Will you be driving in darkness? No, I won't. Have I reviewed the wildlife collisions? Yes, I have. Another feature is it auto detects the approximate time and sets that variable as well. So you can see it's greater than six hours. We're going to uh, be traveling with John Doe today and Mary Kay and Scott Benson, sure. I'm gonna leave a comment here as well. Selling. And I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. So let's calculate and review. So based on our questionnaire and the road report, I've been given a trip score of 40. This is a low level risk. Some of the hazards would be first time traveling and the length of the trip is expensive, uh, extensive. Sorry. So let's go ahead and proceed with this trip. There we go. So a message has been sent to myself in regards to this trip. I can go ahead, if I were on a telephone right now or a tablet device, if I were to click on navigate, I would actually pull up turn by turn directions all the way to Fort McMurray uh, sorry, from my location. So I'm just going to jump over quickly to my email and you will see if I refresh my email, I have received an email from the risk assessment report system. 
As you can see here, uh, it's re received from myself, Kevin Pace. I'm going to click on View. And a PDF report has been built for this trip. You can see my unit number, how many passengers, the date I left, the map of where I'm driving from and to, the location, estimated kilometers, time, my trip score. Was this essential? Yes, it was. Um, because this was a low risk score, uh, it wasn't required to contact anyone other than myself. For the records, I will be driving this the first time and the length of trip is extensive. You can see my passenger roster here as well and the comments that I had typed into the software. Also included is a list of all the emergency advisories and the road conditions for reference in this report as well. So this system is designed with the oil field companies who do have to travel on back roads or for uh, great lengths of time. Uh, if you want more information regarding this software, please contact me at sales at viawave.ca or 1-888-850-4689. Thank you very much.